The former Strictly Come Dancing professionals discuss the quarter-final another Saturday, another night of Strictly Come Dancing. Week 11 of the competition saw the five remaining celebrity professional couples face a nail-biting quarterfinal, pulling off some of their most daring dances to date. From Rose Ailing Ellis and Giovanni Pernis's staggering leap of faith jump to AJ Odudu and Kai Widrington's unforgettable mistake landing them at the bottom of the leaderboard. The divided judges gave some of their most controversial scores of the season. Here to weigh in on all the action is our favorite strictly professional couple, Ola and James Jordan. For all the fab you loose dances ahead of the rapidly approaching final, scroll on for James and Ola's weekly column, Strictly Speaking. Ola, it's drawing closer to the final now and everyone is putting so much pressure on themselves, I think that's why we saw so many mistakes last night. The celebrities would have no doubt perfected their routine in rehearsals, but it's so easy to fall apart during the live show because of the nerves. James, at this stage, everyone is a contender for the final, which is why the pressure in the ballroom is so intense. Honestly, I never thought Reese would make it all the way to the end, but after last night's performance, it's clear to see he's shaking things up. The last couple of weeks he's been really, really good too. Ola, I liked Reese and Nancy's dance. It was up there with their perfect Charleston. Not quite as good, but definitely one of his strongest performances. James, it was refreshing to see that sultry, serious side of him which is so necessary for the Argentine tango. We saw an emotionally mature side to Reese last night and I am glad the judges picked up on that. Ola, we have said from week one that our favorites for the final would be Rose, AJ and John, and it looks like we could be right. James, but Reese could sneak in there if one of the other celebrities has a bad week. For me, the only dancer who is guaranteed be in the final is Rose. If I am honest, I think she's got the Glitterball trophy already, and she deserves it. 